Hello, welcome back to Venus C Live Noting. In this video, I'm going to share with you um, some kind of setup. Um, it's a, if you ever wanted to generate like a level design and just by using Grease Pencil, this is one of such a setup. Um, it's probably not 100% perfect, but I think it's a, it's free for experimentation and then if you if kind of improve it, uh, you might end up with something that uh, can be very useful when you're generating like a level design. <clears throat> so yeah, let's start from scratch. This is actually pretty simple. Um, I will introduce you to one of the uh, nodes that we never used before. It's, um, I'll show you real, uh, real soon. Um, I'll save this first as Grease Pencil Boundary. One. And I will start with uh, I'll start with a plane, I guess. <clears throat> Create a new node tree and shift A now will give us this uh, really handy menu. You can actually select uh, what you need from here. I'm still using search most of the time. Plane MK2 should work and viewer draw and let's check our plane first of all so by default it looks like that uh, this day for a quick demo I like to use normalize <clears throat> with normalize we can increase the number and it stay it stays that way and if I if I also increase the size it's a uh, it's behaving differently so that's can be really handy so like like now I'm giving it like a 15 by 15 unit or 16 by 16 it looks like that it fits the grid perfectly so now let's fit to the top view um, the nodes that <coughs> we're gonna use is a limited dissolve <coughs> excuse me so there is also another nodes that can kind of do the same thing which I might use this at another live noting. Um, this one can select the boundary vertices and stuff. This one can do limited dissolve. For example, you have this grid, right? If you pipe this grid into limited dissolve, what you can end up with is a just a very clean plane. So it's actually getting rid of all the vertices inside the boundary. So that's can, that can be very useful and that works for anything that's planar. So anything that planar will work with this guy. So let's draw something using Grease Pencil first of all. <clears throat> I'm just gonna draw like S shape. And that's Grease Pencil, it's being drawn on top of this guy. Um, maybe I can lift it up slightly so I'll leave maybe I push this <clears throat> I'll push this grid slightly down move <clears throat> excuse me and vertices vector so we know that this guy can push the thing down slightly Seems to be <clears throat> like Square Chalk Fever is uh, overriding the Grease Pencil. I guess that's okay. <clears throat> okay, the next thing we want to do is uh, to use the list masking. We have our Select Mesh Elements node. And this guy have a very handy by center and radius. Simply pipe in the the mesh data into this guy, and we should end up with a vertices. And we're gonna use the grease pencil down into the the center. So let's use object ID selector and get our grease pencil data and pass these points into the center. And if we are doing it correctly, if we use like a vertices 
mask vertices node. If we pipe in the vertices mask into this guy and the original data into this guy, we should hopefully get uh, the result we want. So, uh, we can increase the radius of the grease pencil. Okay, that's uh, that's working. Um, currently, it's working for a single stroke. Single stroke will be fine. You don't need to make adjustment. But if you have like a multiple stroke, I'll make like a real quick multiple stroke like this. Let's look at the result. Okay, with multiple strokes, it doesn't seem to be working properly, right? That's because of uh, this guy. This node is not happy with the uh, with the, the data coming in. We need to either list join it or maybe I'll I'll actually first of all I think vectorize. Uh, interpolation, vector interpolations can resemble the line first of all. And if we check it out, currently the lines being resampled. So for each strokes it's being resampled based on this number. The next thing we want to do is really to use a UV connection. UV connection does something special inside it. That's kind of a separating and then kind of a enca encapsulate each of every strokes into single lines. And if I'm if my theory is correct, once you do the UV connection, you can just plug this back into the center and it should work. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I need to use a um, converter, socket converter. Increase the radius. Actually, I need to increase the radius. Maybe I need to at least join it again. But if, I know if I at least join it. Uh, yeah, actually, let's join back the data from this guy. Kind of work. Interesting. So yeah, if you have like a multiple lines, it's a uh, slightly more tricky. But now, now it seems to be working. Cool. So let's go back to our just a single stroke. Um, okay. Of course, we already get this result, right? We can bake it and we get uh, some kind of floor and this floor this floor is all right but if you want some kind of boundary you can you probably want to have uh, like a clean edges for example so that's why we need the limited dissolve this guy plug that in and let's have a look at the result there you go, that's uh, exactly what I was talking about. You just have a clean outline. Uh, this guy with a polygon, if you turn on n-gons, so that's actually pretty clean as well. If you now use something like offset, plug this guy in, plug this guy in, vertices, out polygon, you should be able to generate like a wall okay so that's the that's actually the idea and then you, you can simply use um, extrusion extrude region and now you should oh yeah the normal is actually flipped from this guy from the offset uh, let's flip the normal then
update it, refresh. Seems like flip normal, not doing it properly. Oh, because I'm changing the the timeline. Sorry, let's go back to where we have before. So flip normal. And then update it. Refresh the normal and there you go. I think that's a uh, that's how it's supposed to work. So we have the wall right here. Um, let's change the color, give some shades, and we have the floor right here I'll give the floor a different color maybe I can even add a um, ambient occlusion so there you have it that's a um, this is like a quick level design created using Grease Pencil and we know that this actually works in real time. So if you change the, uh, the Grease strokes, you just need to make adjustment because we are dependent on this, uh, this uh, radius masking as well. And then also dependent on this plane, I'll make it slightly bigger and more high, res high resolution. And so now, whatever grease pencil strokes we added, it will update accordingly. So few from, so I'll fill from the top, and then maybe uh, make some writing. Maybe like a, if I make like a spiral, this guy will actually update it. You can make adjustment from the radius. Maybe I need to increase the sampling as well. So there's a lot of uh, parameters that you can adjust here. There you go. Some, sometimes you have a, you do have some kind of glitch, but sometimes the glitch actually add a more interest. So that's a for quick prototyping, um, some kind of level design boundary. Let's say if I'm making a, a level based on letter B oh actually so that's yeah that's the, from letter S I can make a letter A for example and then update it we have this kind of level maybe adjust the radius it's all depending on the this uh, mask uh, the, the radius of the mask Let's make one more letter Q. There we go. Letter, letter Q seems to work pretty well. Increase the radius. Oh, okay. Sometimes when we have the intersections, we get we do get uh, some kind of this uh, glitching. I guess that can be adjusted and fixed. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, live noting. It's uh, simply thanks to this uh, limited dissolve, we can get uh, this kind of design pretty easily. There's another note, like I said, it's a mesh filter. If you play around with this, I think uh, interior or boundary will give you the similar result, maybe cleaner, but still limited dissolve can be really handy for some time, uh, for depends on what you're doing. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, live noting. Um, it's a quick look at how you can generate uh, this kind of le level design boundary kind of thing based on Grease Pencil.
Thank you again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.